Hi guys, I just wanted to come on here real quick and tell you about my latest blog post, which I think you'll find really helpful. I'm writing my book on uh, how I became a wildlife biologist and tips for you on how to become one, and I thought this would be really helpful. So first, I am Dr. Stephanie Shuttler. My channel is all about empowering scientists and inspiring you to conserve the natural world. I am a wildlife biologist. I've been in this field for over 15 years. I have my PhD. And one thing that people don't realize about wildlife biology is the importance of statistics. A lot of people think you're just going outside and observing animals, and that's not really true anymore. We have a lot of sensors like camera traps and GPS trackers that we put on animals. So now we just have tons and tons of data. For example, a single camera trap can collect thousands of animal detections. And you're gonna need a lot more than one camera trap for your study, so multiply that times dozens or even over 100 and you're gonna have a lot of data to deal with. So we are currently in the era of big data. And to analyze big data, you need big statistics or statistical models. If you're like me, and you are not the best at statistics, which is weird because I was always really good at math, but um, I never did that well in statistics. And I found the courses really hard to follow along with. So I had to learn on my own. And I'm gonna give you two book recommendations. Another thing I just wanna add, if you're in your master's degree or PhD degree, even if you do take statistics courses, you will need additional help because your um, thesis or dissertation will present unique problems and you're going to have to go to other sources. So here are my two favorite books. So first off, we have, um, this is a very beginner's book. This is Statistics for Terrified Biologists, a very funny title, um, a little bit embarrassing, but whatever, we'll go with it. And I love this book just because it really explains things in plain English, and it takes things really, really slowly with a lot of pictures, a lot of examples. What I found in lots of statistics courses, I can't say statistics, statistics. What I found in a lot of statistics courses is that you'll be like given a simple example of like a coin flip and you're following along and then all of a sudden you're lost. This book really, really takes it step by step. And um, this is really not gonna help you as much with your data analysis unless you have some pretty straightforward problems. But this is a really great book for a solid understanding of statistics. The second book that I love is called The R Book. So R is a statistical software program and um, it's kind of like a black box. It used to be more so, but now there's R Studio. And basically you code it to run the types of data analysis that you want. And R is really what wildlife biologists use nowadays. And the main reason for that was um, because it's free. When I started graduate school in 2006, really no one was using R, they are just starting to. And now here we are in 2020, um, I work alongside a lot of graduate students, everyone uses R. The statistics are becoming much more complicated. Hold on, my dog's working. The statistics are becoming much more complicated, more advanced, and you will likely have to know how to use R. So this book is not only helpful for R, but it's also helpful for statistics in general too. So for example, I had to do a generalized linear mixed model, and I found this book to explain fixed effects versus random effects the best. So it's a really thick book, you can see, and um, like the other book, it kind of takes you step by step. It has um, examples that are more, there's slower progression, that's the word I want. Um, they're, they're just not so like, like I always feel like a lot of books, it'll be like really simple and then it'll go to more advanced fast. This one has a very thorough explanation of the different concepts. If you want to link to those books, I'm gonna put it right here in um, the, the description and it'll take you right to the blog post so you can go ahead and order those books. If you want to get my book on wildlife biology, go to my website, fancyscientist.com, and subscribe to my weekly email news newsletter. This will keep you in the loop of when it comes out. It should be out later this spring. I'm super excited. 
I hope you found this helpful. If you did, please share it with a friend and subscribe to my channel to get some more tips on becoming a wildlife biologist. Bye!